Great day, great day, great day. This is Brother Hatim. I'm coming at you live and give yourself permission on this beautiful morning, man. I woke up this morning and I did my meditation and the thunder and the lightning was roaring. And, ah, man, it was such, I mean, I didn't have enough time to meditate. Um, That's why I say start small, man, because when you start small, you start building up on past success. So now... 30 minutes is not long enough. I knew that before because I cut my meditation uh, 15 minutes short so that I could start learning to put together this newsletter that I'm doing for uh, the journey every morning now. So I call it the daily journey. And um, basically what I'm trying to do is lay out a map for all those people that are, are listening that so that you can share with your friends so that you know exactly what I'm doing today and at least have a good idea about what I'm talking about. Um, so, um, first off, let me slow down. I'm ahead of myself. Great day, great day, great day. I greet you in a journey way. And I ask you, what have you released? What have you released from your life that will make your journey lighter, more efficient? What have you innovated in your life? What have you created and made new in your life? Man, and as I say to my son every morning when I wake him up, it's time to get up, man. The day has already started and left you behind. You need to catch up. Let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. Now, we are on doing something different. And yesterday... I I went a little bit more into the story and some of the things that I told the young man that he can do. Now, let's bring it to us just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can touch on us a little bit and I can finish out his story. But anyway, with us, we often fear doing something different. We fear change. We fear doing something new. And in order for us to get up and move in life, we got to experience different things. We got to try different foods. We got to go to different places. We got to make new and different friends. We got to uh, explore different jobs and employment opportunities and career opportunities. We got to explore different things. That's the only way that we can learn. In a matter, as, as a matter of fact, doing something different is on par with failure because it is necessary for you to learn you can't keep doing this math problem the exact same way if you know that the way that you're doing is not right when you continuously do something over and over and over again the same way and it still continues not to work it means it's time to try something different try a different method you know what I'm saying? There are thousands of different methods. There's thousands of different ways, thousands of different things that we can explore in life and bring some difference in. Most of you don't really want or need to leave your job. You just need to learn how to do it in a different way. You need to bring a different you. <laughs> um, but now, check this out. I was thinking... This is real life. You can hear the sirens in the background. This is real life. Yo, um, I was thinking, and a saying came to me. They says, if you keep doing the same thing you've been doing, you're going to keep getting the same thing you've been getting. That's an old saying. Now, let's take it and let's throw some hip-hop philosophy on it. I'm going to remix it. Look, here we go. Not only if you keep doing the same thing, will you keep getting the same results? If you keep doing the same thing in the same way, you will never learn 
how powerful you truly are. I think a lot of times we get stuck and we like being stuck in patterns because we feel that it's safe. Because we never have to go to the edge. We never have to go to the, ab the, the abyss and look down into the abyss. Because the fear of us not knowing, the fear of, of, of facing something new, the fear of, of getting rid of a demon that we know and, and approaching an angel that we don't know is so fearful to many of us that we would rather stay stuck in the same cycle. Many of us are living Groundhog Day-like existence. You remember the movie with Bill Murray where he got the song and every morning he would wake up and alarm clock will be singing, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. See, a lot of your a lot of your life are like those earworms that we get. Where because you haven't tried nothing new, because you have not broke this pattern that you've been doing over and over again, it's like that earworm that you get. And those that don't know what an earworm is, an earworm is a song that is just horrible and it haunts you because you did not allow it to complete. You cut the song off in the middle. And you now, now until you hear the whole song, this song keeps playing over and over again. This is how your life is. You have not, you have not allowed yourself to look at different avenues. You have not finished the projects. So you keep going in these loops. You have not looked for new solutions. So you keep going in these loops. You have not looked for something different. So you continue going in these loops. Yo, this is Brother High Tim. Oh, back. I know y'all like, well, what happened to young dude? Well, because what I said to him was so radical and revolutionary, I guess. Do something different. Go to a library. Oh, no. Read a book. Oh, no. No, I don't. No, nah, we don't do that. You know, I, you know, I, no, nah, you know. So, needless to say, I quit him with the knowledge. Um, but he chose his path. And I don't know where he is now. But I know where he was headed when he left out of my office. Because he had, had determined that he wasn't going to change anything. It wasn't him that needed to change. See, and this is where a lot of us go wrong. It wasn't him that needed to change. At least he felt. It was the world. <laughs> I want you to think about, I mean, we talk about insanity. We talk about insanity, but I want you to really listen to what I just said to you. Because many of us are caught in this loop. It's not us that needs to change. It's not me that needs to change. It's not I that need to change or I that need to do something different. It's the world. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if y'all got it. So let me say it one more time. It's not me that needs to change. It's not me that needs to change. It's not I that need to change. It's the world that need to do something different. That's the mind state of many of us. And because that is our mind state. We use it to justify being stuck where we are. <laughs> this is what I tell him, saying, hey, you have a marvelous, fantastic, and glorious day. I pray that it is as beautiful as you are. And remember to download the app. Remember to support the journey. You go to W. You know what? If you don't want to buy the book, man, look, I can dig it. You don't want to buy none of the books. You don't want to buy none of the merchandise. That's cool. Go to www.giamijourney.com look on the right hand tab and there's a tip jar I don't care if you tip a, tip a quarter you know what I'm saying put something in the jar man you know what I'm saying help support the journey I got kids I gotta take to camp I got a camping trip that's coming up I got more books to write you know what I'm saying I got other places and other people that need to see me that might not be able to afford to for me to come, they might not even know they need to they need to speak to Brother Hot Tim. So let's make it happen. All right, now this is Brother Hot Tim saying, "Listen, do you do the best you that you can do, and don't be afraid 
to try something different. Give yourself permission to try something different. Try that new Chinese restaurant. Try some Thai food. You know what I'm saying? Try some Mexican food. You know, put down the usual. You know, make yourself a butter sandwich for lunch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, walk to work today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put your left shoe on first. You know, um, um, don't brush your teeth first. You know what I'm saying? Take your shower first, then brush your teeth. Or, or reverse something. Change something to see how good it feels. To know that you are in control. To know that you are not on autopilot. To know that you can change your script whenever you choose. You are the director of the movie called Your Life. I'm done. Peace.